Hi, I'm Brian. Kettle's on. Make yourself a cup of tea. Now today I want to talk about the upcoming Marvel Phase 5, which the projects have now been announced fully at San Diego Comic Con, which was this weekend. Now I have said previously that I can give or take Marvel at this point. I've missed most of the Phase 4 films because they just haven't interested me. I do feel like the MCU should have ended with Endgame. I have said that before. But if you are still enjoying the MCU, that is fantastic. And I hope you continue to enjoy it for a long time to come, for as long as it goes. But with the recent rate of films not performing great at the box office, I mean, let's be honest, with Marvel, anything under a billion dollars would be seen as an underperformance. Doctor Strange 2 failed to get there, and Thor Love and Thunder looks like it's not going to get there either. That is dropping off quickly week after week. Add on to that the underperformance of Black Widow, which will be attributed to being on Disney Plus at the same time as being released in the theatres, and Shang-Chi and Eternals also didn't perform great at the box office either. So how long the MCU will continue to go on for remains to be seen because if Marvel and Disney start losing too much money on the films then, like everything else, they'll just stop producing them. But Phase 5 has been announced and there's not a lot really here. There's nothing really I'm already looking forward to. There's no films in the list which I want to go see, which I want to watch. And from the TV shows... The main one I will be looking forward to is Loki Season 2. I enjoyed Season 1 and would like to see where Season 2 goes. But the upcoming slate for Phase 5 is Ant-Man and the Wasp. Not really looking forward to that one. I enjoyed the first film. The second film wasn't as good. That is going to be followed by the Secret Invasion TV show, which I have no interest in. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Again, I enjoyed the first film, but... Not so much the second, so I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this one. Not looking forward to it coming out either way. Then there's a the TV show of Echo, which I really don't care about. She wasn't a great character in the K Bishop show. Sorry, in the Hawkeye show. So I have no interest in her getting her own show. And I don't think Marvel have much faith in her either, as they're propping the show with Daredevil and Kingpin. Then you've got Loki Season 2, which is the one I am... Looking forward to see how it goes. As I said, I did enjoy season one. Then there's the Marvels, which, while I didn't dislike Captain Marvel, I also didn't like it. I think the best way to describe the film is, it's like the colour beige. It's just bland and it was there. After that, there is the Blade movie, which, I'm sorry, but they'll keep it to a PG-13 rating and... A PG-13 Blade is going to be... Well, it's not going to be worth watching. While I wasn't a massive fan of the original Blade movies, I did enjoy at least the first two. I do believe Blade should be an 18. It fits better as an 18 film. And I don't think it's going to be good kept as a PG-13. But it is in the MCU, so they're not going to give an MCU film an 18 or an R rated. It's not going to happen. They need the audience there. They need the ticket sales. Then we've got Ironheart, who in the comics isn't a great character and is a poor replacement for Iron Man. I don't think it's going to go down well with a lot of fans. And again, it's not a show I'm interested in. Agatha, Coven of Chaos. I couldn't get through WandaVision. I'm not going to sit and watch a show about Agatha Harkness. I've no interest in it. Daredevil, Born Again. This one I've got mixed feelings on. I'd like more Daredevil. And if it was going to be done in the style of the Netflix show, I would be fully on board with this. But let's be honest, this is Marvel. Not just Marvel, it's slated in MCU's Phase 5. So again, it's not going to be the R-rated that it was for Netflix. It's going to be a toned down version of Daredevil. And the fact that it's called Born Again, I think confirms this. It's not going to be the Daredevil what we knew from Netflix. It's going to be a it's going to be a MCU version of Daredevil, which I don't have an interest in. I will probably give it a watch to see how it is, but I think it's going to be a case of to quote the Godfather, "Look how they massacred my boy." It's not going to end well. 
Then you've got the Falcon film, sorry, Captain America, New World Order, which I think probably would be better if they made a Falcon film. I don't see why they took Falcon away from Anthony Mackie's character and gave him the Captain America name. There was no need for it. He was a good character as Falcon. I know he became Captain America in the comics, but Steve Rogers is Captain America. Falcon's just been given the name of Captain America. I think it's a disservice to Anthony Mackie and the character to say, well, no, you can't. You're not strong enough to be on your own. You have to be Captain America. It's the only way people are going to relate to you. And then you've got the Thunderbolts, which, again, no interest in it. I know they're setting up this through various projects like Black Widow and Falcon and Winter Soldier, but it just feels flat. Phase 5 doesn't seem to have much going for it in terms of established names and star power. Phase 4's two big hitters should have been Doctor Strange 2, Multiverse of Madness and Thor Love and Thunder. They are established characters and they are sequel movies, so you would have expected them to do over a billion dollars easily. I thought they would take over a billion dollars, but they've both not reached it. So a slate of a lot of new characters I don't think is going to attract a lot of people. I could be wrong and say it is Marvel, it is the MCU, it's not going to die out anytime soon. But it's nowhere near the powerhouse juggernaut that it once was. The MCU at the moment is just chugging along. It doesn't feel like it's got an end goal in sight like it did for Endgame. And I know they are leading up to Kang, they've already said this. They've announced the two Avengers films to wrap up Phase 6, which is going to be Secret Wars and the Kang Dynasty. So they know what they want to end on, but I don't think they've got a clear roadmap of how they want to get there. Whereas Phases 1 to 3, they knew pretty much what they were doing. Phases 4 and 5, it just feels like they're stumbling along in the dark and seeing as they can find the way. So there's not a lot here which I am looking forward to seeing but what about you guys are you looking forward to seeing anything in phase five if so do let me know in the comments below and that's all from me i must make a fresh cup of tea